hi welcome back to another video uh, in this series we are learning about c++ language so in the previous two videos we have attempted like four practice problems in this video we will try to attempt and solve a simple project for our lesson one just to practice out our concepts that we have learned so let's read the statement Create a program that acts as a basic grade calculator. The user can input the marks obtained in three subjects and the program will calculate the average marks and display the corresponding grade A, B, C, D or F based on a predefined grading system. So let's have a look. So first of all we will have three variables as float sub 1 float sub 2 float sub 3 okay so within these variables we will save the obtained marks of the subjects but we will ask the user float subject marks this variable uh, this now this subject marks variable will be used to store the total marks of each subject for example in some colleges we have got 50 marks in each subject as total marks but in some colleges we might have 75 marks as total marks in each subject so we will verify this and then we will have a variable to store our average or we can say percentage so in on the basis of percentage we will decide whether the student has got A, B, C or D grade. Now let's take input from user. So C out enter subject 1 marks equals to C in sub 1. Okay. Now let's copy this piece of code and we will just paste it for other subjects as well. And we will just change the value and we will replace this one by two and three respectively now we have got the inputs and uh, stored into their respective variables now let's ask the user see out enter your subject total marks so we will take C in we will have subject marks float okay and there is a little mistake here all right so we have got the marks okay so we have got the marks as input and stored it in their respective variables now how to calculate percentage so percentage formula is equals to total uh, obtained marks divided by total marks so we will add all of the subjects so we have sub 1 plus sub 2 plus sub 3 divided by 3 times subject marks why is three times because of the fact that we are dealing with three subjects so it will be equals to total marks and then multiply by 100 okay so this will gives us the percentage then let's print out the result and let's say percentage okay let's check whether we get a right percentage or not so we have 20 plus 23.7 and 9 sorry not 90 but 45 okay enter your total marks we considered it to be 50 so we got 147833 what is this okay let's check our code again all right so we had some issues with the output so let's solve it so as you guys can see there is some issue with our parentheses okay so let's just readjust them 
so now these new parentheses means that we have to calculate this separately then this separately then we will divide these all subject marks divided by these total marks then we will multiply with the 100 so this is how these parentheses will open now let's have a look 20 40 45 and 33 and we have got 50 so 65.33 i hope it is correct okay so you can verify it with the calculator as well if it is not correct uh, the logic is everything so you can readjust the formula let's have a look so how can we design our grade so if percentage is greater than okay if percentage is greater than or equals to 90 we will declare that student as a grade a grade okay else if percentage is greater than or equals to 80 but also and and the percentage is less than 90 okay so if you do not use this this will still work but just i want to uh, make sure that you guys have idea of and logical operators as well that you can use that as well okay so we will have b grade and the later grades can be designed by you guys as well so it will be your homework task so i'll just say the later else student is fail fail okay so you can add the other grades by yourself so this will be your home task okay subject marks that is 30 30 30 and we have 50 so he is fail just because he got 60 marks he is fail let's try to get uh, above 90 so we will have 45 45 45 and 50 so we have got 90 and a grade okay that is good and one more thing that is uh, let's have a look we say that uh, 38 38 38 and we have 50 76 as well so let's increase a bit more so we fall into the category of 82 90 so we have 40 42 and 40 and we have 50 yes and 81.333 we have got the b grade so our program is working fine and you have just created a small project where you have learned about if else statements as well as this uh, logic as well that we have to use flow data also about the parentheses as well so you have to be uh, sure about which parentheses has to be used where okay so I hope you guys have learned something from these practice problem and this task as well. So from the next video, we will start our lesson two. So until then, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.